We'd waited a long time for this trip. We needed a neat tide, a small tide, and we needed a good stable forecast with low winds. But finally it all come together and we were going off to Ennis Entley to Bardsey Island, crossing the sound and its notorious currents. But we've chosen our day and we've chosen it well. Planning our trip out to Anna's uh, Entley, Bardsey Island, is quite a challenge. The map shows a very simple picture, but the moment you pull up a chart which shows all the tide races, direction of current, there's even a six knot current shown there at one point. So where to get the information? My go-to is the Welsh Sea Kayaking Guidebook printed by Pesta Press. As well as detailed information on the the places, the wildlife, it includes detailed tidal planning. Now, they've shown a trip here in and out of Aberdaran, their recommended route, but that's not what I wanted to do. So we make our own plan. I transfer all the uh, tidal information I want onto an ordnance survey map, plenty of room to write everything, and then I'll laminate it. Note that everything is referenced to Liverpool. So on a spring tide, the strongest current will be up to six knots, but we're not doing it in canoe on a six knot tide. We're going to do it on neeps, so it'll be three, maybe less. The first thing was find out the tide on the Saturday, 0626, seven metre tide, bottom of the tide is 3.7, so there's not a lot of water moving there. And then we've got to add an hour because all the times shown are Greenwich Mean Time and it's still in the summer. Transfer all that onto this uh, quick sketch and that tells me the time the tide moves in each direction. And that's the critical bit of information. The tide is going to be running south through Bardsey Sound until about 10 past 12. So we'll launch from Aberdaran, 9.30ish, out to the headland. And then using the eddy, which is very often called the Young Flood, uh, up towards the next headland, and from there take off on the last of the ebb tide across to Barnsey. The original plan was to go round the west, but the tide was a bit stronger than we expected, so we modified it mid-channel and went down the east side. Then, as the tide turned, any time after 12 o'clock, or say 12.30, we could head back up, and instead of heading for Aberdaran, we would head for the north coast of the Clean Peninsula. Here we're heading up the large eddy that follows the headland of the Clean Peninsula and up to a point where I feel we can make our, our move towards the island. So we paddle out across the eddy system. No real differentiation, it's very difficult unless there's a bit of wind to kick it up more to tell where the eddy ends but eventually we hit the main current. At this point, the ebb tide is still running strongly from north to south through the sound, from our right to our left. And that's going to drag us down towards the, 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 this left tip of the island. Only one. Only one, yeah. They're good, aren't they? They're very good. I didn't make them myself. Your mum made them? Yeah. She's awesome.
How long have it been? Been five years. Really? Bloody hell. Maybe. It may have been before you were born. Really? <laughs> Get our first view of the lighthouse. Waiting for a little while for the right tide. Exactly. Yeah. Right tide and right forecast. Yeah, today's yeah. the day for it, isn't it? keeping our distance from those that are broached up on the shore um, we don't want to scare them so that they come clambering across those rocks and possibly injuring themselves any that choose to come out to us that's fine but these are slightly more timid than the ones that I meet on Anglesey and they keep their distance We'd come into this bay, but the flood tide is going to start soon and it splits at the tip of the island. So we don't really want to stop here and have to paddle against the flow. Luke quickly ran up onto the top to see and just check, and the bay on the other side looks actually very easy to land. So we went on, even though I could have done with a leg stretch, and head round the tip of the island to head for a better bay for our next leg. Well, 
looking down across the beach to her boats and uh, seal bobbing just beyond. Um, so the crossing to this side has gone well. This west side of the island feels a lot wilder. Uh, you, you feel that, well, to your left side is your paddle. Uh, the next stop is Ireland, so that's some 60 miles away. So it feels quite an exposed place. It feels very different to the other side and to the peninsula. Anyway, um, it's got to be more than 25, maybe 30 years since I was last here. So it's nice to be back briefly and in canoe <laughs> and in good company. <laughs> Luke's gone to see the lighthouse, but I'm just chilling, just chilling. The flood tide has now well truly started and it's running northwards and then bending around that headland and heading up the Clean Peninsula. So everything's going our way. Uh, it takes us over the tripods, an area of rough water in other conditions, but we've chosen to be here on a very, very easy day. These conditions give you the impression everything is still, but if you look at this fishing buoy, it's got its own wake. The tide is still running quite strongly and it's running northeast. That's taken us the way we want. Yeah. And what about these long flat ones? 
What are they? Uh, nothing. 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 Stable air. Grinning now because he's filming it. <laughs> a fabulous day out, and we've waited a long time for this Thank you. meeting of both tide and wind to make it safe and easy to cross. And Luke was wonderful company, so pleased to do it with him, and he's been badgering me for ages to do this trip. We finally got it done, and it was everything we imagined. Hi folks, I hope you found that interesting and helpful and what you can do is you can press like, you can subscribe and comments are always welcome. If you'd like to support the channel there is a link in the description below for buymeacoffee.com. My own book Canoeing is available directly from myself but there are links in the description below for easy buys in North America or the rest of Europe. Thank you for watching and thank you for the support.